to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing another Star Wars Funko Pop. This time it is the Armorer. Um, so really cool Funko. I ordered this one off of Amazon for $9.99 free shipping. I haven't been able to really find her anywhere. She is from the Mandalorian wave and one of the coolest characters that they have released so far in my opinion. So as you can probably tell there's a giant tear in the top of the box. Um, if you watch my opening video, my March, I guess, mail call video, um, you would have seen this in my instant disappointment. Um, sometimes Amazon ships in mailers like bo boxes and then other times they come like this and this wasn't really a shipping error I don't think. I think it was a, it came to the warehouse like this which I don't think personally should have been shipped away. So um, with that being said we just have to move on. Um, I display these out of the boxes for the most part so it's okay. I'll probably get some tape to just tape it down because I'm too impatient to return it and get a new one. I honestly don't care that much. This is not a like crazy sought after character. I mean, it's like sought after, but it's not rare. Um, I'm gonna say this and this is gonna be so valuable and I'm gonna have a dented bar or a torn box. Anyways, but this is the Armorer. Um, it is 353 in the wave, um, some nice white and orange packaging details. Here's the rest of the wave on the back here. Um, I've got the incinerator trooper and the Two Stripes uh, Death Watch Trooper, that was a GameStop exclusive. And so now I just need the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian and the Covert Mandalorian. So I will get those as time goes on as well. But really cool nonetheless. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box and I'll give you guys a closer look. All right, and here is our Armorer. Uh, pretty cool character in the show. We don't know a whole lot about her, but um, she makes uh, Mando's armor and is a actually a pretty decent character in the show. I really liked her. Um, I generally try to avoid pops with small bodies, which is a lot of the female pops, just because it's just not as worth it to me. I don't like the little bitty body on a huge head, and pops already have huge heads, so generally I'm not a big fan of the proportions, but I couldn't pass up this one. Um, I mean, it was important, I guess, that you made her thin and feminine, because she's a girl, um, but really cool nonetheless. I love her little blowtorch hammer, and then of course the shape of her helmet, and then the spikes on top. One thing that I didn't realize before I opened it is there's like all of these like little pitted pits um, in her helmet that make it look like it's been hammered. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. It almost looks like a factory air, to be honest, but I think that it's supposed to be in there. Um, but it makes sense, I guess, if it's, if it's you know, hammered steel. Just the Mandalorian's helmet is very smooth. All the other uh, Mandalorians that we've seen. But overall, I mean, I like it. She's really cool. Her head is like a, it's like a gold color. And then of course her face mask is black and it's the feminine Mandalorian cut. Um, she's got her little blowtorch hammer thing and then some fur on the back of her collar, which is really cool. She's got some female armor in the chest piece and then this skirt as well as boots. Um, as most of you know, Funko Pops for Star Wars have bobbleheads and they come stuck to the stand. Um, in this case, it's very good to have a stand for this character because I highly doubt she would stand up on her own without a stand because her head is so much larger than her body. Um, and so she's a really cool pop. I mean, thankfully, again, I display them outside of the boxes because the box is really disappointing. Um, with the tear, it really took away the excitement for me um, getting this figure, but I wasn't able to find her really in any places. And so I was like, oh, well, $10 off of Amazon is great. The heavy Mandalorian you can get for $20 with, of course it comes in a pop protector, but um, yeah. So I, I mean, it's still a good deal nonetheless, other than the box is really a shame. But um, it's got good detailing in terms of like the, the, the sculpting, that's what I'm trying to say, back here and then across the top in the face. I really like the horns like I mentioned. And of course you get the side of the figure. Lots and lots of detailing. Funk has gotten really good about doing very good sculpt work on their Funko Pops. So I am happy to add her to my collection. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I always appreciate um, your opinions. And that's it for now, guys. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Let me know what you think about the tear in the box. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time.